In our Health Watch report, the current surge in COVID-19 has emergency rooms flooded and healthcare workers overwhelmed. Local 3's Connie Fellman shows us that knowing where to go for what kind of care can help everyone get to the right care at the right place at the right time. With the ever-changing COVID situation, the testing process can be confusing and, let's face it, frustrating at times. So we talked to some local health care providers to help us sort out when to use urgent care, when you should go to the ER, and why using emergency services for your own convenience is making the whole problem worse for everyone. COVID-19 has been a significant uh, cause for these visits and our positive results have been up about five times what we've been seeing prior to the last two weeks. Like healthcare workers everywhere, Dr. Nels Rose has seen the COVID surge firsthand. We've definitely seen about a 20 to 30 percent uptick over the last two weeks. Nels is an emergency medicine physician for Aurora Bay Care Medical Center, working at the urgent care facility in Kakana. Urgent care, you know, is again, we take care of typical non-life-threatening symptoms, the, the coughs, colds, the congestion. Nels says urgent care is is one of many options patients have to get tested for COVID-19. There are many community sites that offer free or low cost testing in the area. But if all you need is a COVID test, going to an emergency room will not only be more expensive, doctors say other patients and healthcare workers may end up paying a high price too. With the recent spike in COVID, uh, emergency departments are just overwhelmed um, and it's creating throughput issues and long wait times and lack of resources that could otherwise be directed to the more emergent patient. Dr. Ryan Murphy is an emergency medicine physician with Aurora Bay Care. He says you should get to the ER if you have trauma like a broken bone, trouble breathing, severe chest pain, sudden trouble walking, facial droops or slurred speech. A good rule of thumb? Trust your gut and if you think this is really an emergency that you need to be seen right now, and go to the emergency department. We'll be happy to see you and evaluate you. Options like virtual visits and self-assessment tools on the LiveWell app can also point patients in the right direction. But both doctors we talk to say the goal is getting patients the right care at the right place and at the right time, with the key word being care, no matter where a patient shows up. We evaluate anybody that comes to the emergency department. We turn nobody away. Another thing to remember, doctors say if you get tested too early after being exposed to someone with COVID, you could end up with a false negative and continue spreading the virus without knowing you have it. And that's your Health Watch. I'm Connie Fellman, Local 3 News.